What's up guys, Fluffy here with a guide on Dragon Mages. Before we get into any gameplay, I want to go over the pros and cons of this comp, and how the build should look like between levels 8 to 10. On the top of the screen, our post three comp generally should look like level 8. As you can see, we have our Mages, Dragons, and Frontline. Usually, usually with this comp, your Frontline will be Warriors, but I have seen a variation with Knights, but I, I haven't tested it too much, and I really like that Warriors have a lot of CC, and they also do magic damage. Like Pirate Captain's Boat and Swordsman both do a lot of extra damage with the Mage Bonus. Usually with this comp I'll start with Goblins or Warriors and I will transition into the Mages and Dragons as I find them. Now the one thing I do want to mention though is that even though I put four Mages here, you could run this with just like Tertola, Source, Shining as your Mages. You could run this with Shining, Thunder Spirit, Flaming as your Mages, or you can even go six Mages with it. Uh, Either one's okay. The only thing about Tertola is that Tertola aims for the highest cost unit on the enemy's board. So if they know they're running a Tertola, they can potentially move their highest cost unit away from their team, baiting out your Tertola. So some players would like to use the Flaming Thunder Spirit one because there's no, like, they can't do that to them, making them, like, a little better in high, high level lobbies. But if you see people aren't really repositioning for your Tertola, Tertola is way better. He does a lot of damage. The other thing is that the dragons don't require a lot of mana. Thunder Spirit usually gets his mana pretty easily. So if you're not running the Tertola version, you don't really need a source at all. Like, especially if you have one or two mana items, you're good. You should be more than fine. Um, the most important part of this comp is the DK. You really need Dragonite to get the two star because me after your mages do their burst, Dragonite cleans up the fight because he does splash AoE magic damage, but he only does that at Dragonite 2. Also humans are very important to this comp because it shuts down enemy ultimates and it makes it just easier for you guys to kill them without taking any damage back because your team is very squishy. So if they get on your back line, usually you're gonna lose the fight. Um, <clears throat> the other thing to mention is that if Tartola gets if Tartola gets interrupted mid-cast, his damage sucks. So you really want to keep him in the back and try to keep him from getting silenced from anything like a Shaman ult or like Desperate Doctor stun. That's why giving mana to Tartola, if you do use him, is really good. You, if he gets his ult off very fast, it doesn't give your enemies a chance to CC him. Now, on, on the bottom of the general level 8 build, I have honorable mentions and alternatives. Now, these are just units that work in the comp just as well. Like, Helicopter does massive AoE damage, very strong. Um, if you get God of Thunder, you can possibly go six mages, which makes your comp even crazy. Dark Spirit could be used for, like, against knights or, like, really tanky warriors. Um, Doom's a great tank, so you can get three warrior bonus, or you can just cut out swordsman for him, stuff like that. Uh, Werewolf is also good, because he's also a human, so if you can't find a captain for a while, you can use Werewolf as, like, the human warrior. Um, Razor Claw is not bad in this comp if you have the money for it really tanky you could just soak up so much damage and then as you see flaming was there put here just because you can choose between either tortola source or you could choose between thunder spirit flaming both work or you can go all six it's up to you um all right now with that uh let's go over the pros and cons of this comp so it's really strong versus feathered uh feathered can't dodge skills which automatically makes it good and if you get that feather hitting item on dragonite he's gonna just run all over them and it also does really good versus assassins because Venom shoots the highest attack speed target on the enemy team with his ult. So if it's a feather team, he'll go for either Wind Ranger or Sniper and killing them instantly before they can do anything. Or if it's assassins, he'll go for like Shadow Crawler because she's usually stacked with items. So Venom is actually a huge part of his comp. Getting him to two star also is like really big. He'll shut down enemy carries instantly, Berserkers, all those things. He'll just shut them down instantly. Has a lot of good this comp scales really well mid game like the minion hit dragon knight 2 and you have some mages and venom 2 you're so strong you can fight pretty much every comp um storm shaman also doesn't stop dragon knight from ulting so he becomes dragon he becomes a dragon instantly and he can keep auto attacking and since he has no spells even if they silence you for some reason dragon knight could carry the fight the whole way um the cons this comp is obviously you need dragon knight 2 like without dragon knight 2 your damage is lackluster at best like it, it's not good and then the human sounds also rng so if you're fighting let's say 
I don't know, a god comp or another comp that picked up a storm shaman that wants to silence you, you need to hope that your human silence it. Like, you could position your captain in front of the sh shaman or like your source or whatever, but there's a chance it might not work and that might lose you to fight sometimes. Like, I've, I've lost games due to the human silence on my board didn't go off and I died. But generally, it's going to go off most of the time after like one or two auto attacks, but here and there, you might lose a fight to it due to it. All right, now with that, let's uh, get right into the gameplay. All right, let's get into the game. Um, hopefully we get our Dragon Mages. I can show you guys how to build this comp. Start with Skybreaker here. You can start with God of War here too. It's not a bad pick. Don't really pick these. These are really kind of weak. So your only two choices really in the first shop here was God of War or Skybreaker. Usually I like the Goblins. Um, just because sometimes I pick God of War and... Well, actually, now that I think about it, God of War is not a bad pick too because you can have the choice of either going God Mage or Dragon Mage at the same time. It kind of opens you up to both possibilities. Which is always nice to have in comps. Having like an out to a different comp is always good. Like if I go with the Warrior Frontline, like here I'm going to go with one cost units. Actually, let me grab the Heaven Bomber. So when I go with the Warriors as the Frontline to start off with, there's a potential to go hunters with it. There's a potential to go other things except dragon mage, so that if I'm not hitting my dragons or mages as I'm going, I have outs to other comps, and I can transition better. Come on, try to hit me. Is that actually fishy? Oh shit! I wonder. All right, let's see. So we got pairs. Always gonna take pairs. Shadow Claw is okay. We don't have the greatest items for her. Usually I won't go into assassins. Usually I don't pick up assassins unless I have good items. Friendship is magic. One more creep round. Not a bad lobby. So oh, he's got Thunder he might be trying to go god mage. I see the god of war he's holding. This guy, I don't know actually what he's doing. Oh, that's really strong. I don't think we beat many people in the next round, unless we hit some of these pairs. Nice. For, for the tundra. Let's role play. Man, the queen's always very strong. No mana item. Okay, since we have no mana item, we'll go with Skybreaker. Armor and Tusk. Have her ult a little faster. I'm putting Phantom Queen forward just to AoE all of them. If she jumped in the back, she would only be ulting like one of them. While here, she hits all three like this. Little chance we lose this fight. Nice. All right, cool. Come on, Good thing we hit the pair. Otherwise, we would have lost that 100%. I'm not going to pick up the knights, just because we're going for the dragon mage. Or at least we're going to try. Okay, so two rangers. Now I have a choice of either leveling. Taking the warp wood. This guy has three two stars. Oof. Okay, I don't see us really streaking here, so I'm gonna grab this as an F just in case. I'm not grabbing the Abyssal, I don't even want to tempt myself to go Assassin's Vax it. I don't have the items for them. You know, Assassins aren't the bad, if you have decent items from it, they're not bad to get you the early mid game until you have your mages you can try so if you hit a lot of two star assassins early like you could use them also as a transitional comp no way i'm beating some of these no point in leveling at this point might as well just try to get interest um all right source part of the comp obviously not a magic fountain hmm 
I've heard that there's a place where witchers are blind. Hmm. <laughs> think. I mean, we don't really have good units for this, but Stone Spirit one. Yeah. Actually, Lord of Sin. The enemy is no more than a mirage. Nice damage. That's exactly why I put Phantom Queen in front. Alright, so we're going to continue losing fights. We're going to try to lose streak as safely as possible. Until we feel like strong enough to start win streaking. Looks like we beat somebody in their board. Happens. Okay. Good. Free money. I just want to sell this. Grab that. Okay, so I don't need to have a bomber anymore. I actually kind of want to get rid of this also. And we'll just the uh, Wind Ranger for our damage. Um. I kind of want to, since I'm trying to force Dragon Mages a little bit here. I might just end up selling these. But generally with what I found here, I would go Feathered. Well, not guarantee go Feathered, but like I'd be looking to go Feathered. Because like, Taboo already, a Warpwood, a Wind Ranger, which is a big part of the comp. Because he goes within, with the Assassins or the Hunters, so he's always just a good unit. Uh, it kind of sucks we won that, but I kind of expect it with what I have right now. Alright, right, we're finding the dragons. So I should have sold these feathered. I'm gonna hold the hunters just in case. It's gonna help me transition until the dragons. Water spirit's actually not bad with mages mid game if you get a water spirit too. Just a lot of damage with the magic bonus. Oh, she, sorry. There's a lot of ma damage with the magic bonus. Killed one. Hopefully, we kill the taboo. No, uh, Axtantaris sucks. If I didn't lose my bonus, this would have been really good for us. So I kind of misplayed. Okay, so I think I'm going to scout on the see. Assassins. We're already level five now, cause round nine. So let's make that. Let's sell this for interest. Give the attack items to Ranger, cause she does so good with it with the passive. Like the reason I really wanted to lose streak was cause dragons and mages are usually like a pretty expensive comp. Same as feathered. So I wanted to have as much money as possible, but it's okay. Like I did lose the streak, but the game's not over from it. It's gonna be a little harder. Still dreaming of winning streaks. Looks like Sejiru, so Jiru might have opened. So I might have a, I would have had a trouble lose streaking both ways. That kind of sucks for us. Okay, so we got source two for later. Source is not vital to this comp. Good only if you're going Tortola. But since we don't have the mages yet, like I want to have a way to get the mage bonus. Do not fear the Reaper. So if it so happens that hmm, I could actually go sell all this, but I want to have another front line for when I level around around 13. Very nice. You gotta beat my before Usually for this comp, you don't need the frantic masks. If you end up making frantic mask early for your, like your transitional units, you can put it on source later. Or if not source, then it's not bad on stone spirit because his ultimate actually trolls you more times than not. A few units you can put it on. 
Another source. LOL. All right, let's grab shining. Look out, world. Honestly, until I find Tortola, there's no point. We should take the interest. I'm, I'm just gonna keep one of her just in case we need the mage bonus. I'm not gonna grab the pair of shining archers because we're not really going towards the hunters really. Oh, actually, I should take a look. How many mages are there? There's one divinity mage, but he's not. Actually, he might be going dragon mage. From his picks might be did pick up a venom could also pick up priest but would hurt interest right now and i said this guy was kind of opening not fully open Okay, we got that. I wonder what the enemy tastes like. At this point, either I could put the priest in over Soul Reaper. Looks like this guy opened again, so there's no point. If I hit him, I would lose. <laughs> I would win the round, anyways. Oh, Raise call too scary. I don't mind if, if even if we did win the round, I wouldn't mind too bad. Like we're already about to be at 50 gold after this loss, and if we won the round, we'd be at 50 gold too. So both ways we hit 50 right now. Another win. Okay, so we got our Thunder Spirit. I wonder what the enemy tastes like. <laughs> Alright, so we can do what we can go do go ahead and do is this 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 lets us level. And we could just grab like stone spirit. So what I do is I frontline Thunder Spirit when I play this comp. Because his ult, when he's over here, will only hit like around here. While if he's frontline and he's two star, he'll actually hit the full backline, making him much, making his ultimate much stronger. All right, nice. We got a nice little spike. We're strong now. Well, not strong, but stronger. We'll need to get like Thunder Spirit too. A flame would be nice over the source. There she is. This isn't her interest, so I'm gonna grab this anyways. Drop source, we don't really need her. Like, we could use source, but generally, sh Shining might gain the ult slowly, but Thunder Spirit and Flaming get their ult pretty fast. Wind Ranger gets his ult pretty fast. I'm only using Wind Ranger sh temporarily, because he does a lot of damage with the magic, since his ultimate is magic damage. He can end up killing about like 2-3 units by himself sometimes, as long as he doesn't derp out on his ult, which he tends to do sometimes. Oh, I was unfortunate. <laughs> you can't handle us, I was unfortunate that we were on this side, so Thunder Spirit didn't hit their full back line. If we were here, I think we would have had a much better time. We're still fine though. We have good HP. Now at round 15 for the creeps. Buy that for human bonus. I, can't control. I think we might have some issue with these creeps though. Okay, I know Wind Ranger's strong, but we still have. Alright, let's take one roll for flaming. Wow. Your everyday girl with magic power. Now we think we should definitely be able to do this. We're between the spirit bonus. And having a flaming two, I think we should be fine. Maybe we'll lose by like one or two. No, well, looks like we think we're gonna be good. Need one more flaming ult. Come on, nice. Oh, two, beautiful. We're on our way to a refresher, possibly. Of 
we're gonna be looking at level around round 17. I might do a couple rolls right now. Like I'm gonna put one in the XP. Um, there was another mage comp. Getting there, but he's still pretty weak. I'm not gonna grab shaman just yet. I'll grab the other wind ranger. Do one or two rolls. We got venom. Good. Let's give the mana items to wind ranger since we play him later. I don't mind giving it to flaming. Let's give the armor item to husky tank here. And the shield also. This was the open forder. Still kind of weak. Even though he should have rolled a little more. Being a little bit greedy. You gotta beat my piggy before you challenge me. The top guy got marine for us. That's really scary. We need DK. Start getting through that marine bonus. You know, DK does do magic damage. It's just constant DPS, so it's cool. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna make that yet. I mean, it wouldn't hurt. We have two man items right now. So I'm actually going to use Werewolf instead right here. And I'll keep her just in case on the side. Alright, so from here, either we roll down to look for more units, like more two stars, like a Thunder Spirit 2, Werewolf 2, stuff like that, or try to save for 8. It's really just going to depend how hard of damage we take. And we're actually, we actually end up hitting the top guy, which sucks for us. Hopefully we kill a few of his units. Good, we kill a good amount. We actually might kill some more here with the Wind Ranger all. Beautiful. Oh, actually, beautiful. We actually might win even. We lose. But that's cool. That's a perfect loss. So we're still good on health. We can start pumping EXP instead. It's better to roll down for DK at 8 anyways. So I'm going to just keep leveling for now. So yeah, we need Venom 2, Dragonite 2, uh, Pirate Captain 2 would be great, and then our comp would be like uber strong at that point. At 8, we would give up probably Wind Ranger for Dragonite, Venom, and then Stone Spirit would be gone for Pirate Captain probably. Dark Slaving got silenced, or we actually might have won this. We didn't lose too bad. As long as we stay above like 30 HP by round 2020, which... But actually, usually on round 17, if you leveled properly... Not, sorry, on round 18, if you leveled properly on 17, level 50 gold, you could take a roll on 18, still level on time. But I want to just have more gold to roll at level 8. Because I want to have a higher chance of hitting that Dragonite. Because our forecast is going to go up next level. Shadow Devil's not bad for Mage Comp. He does a lot of magic damage, but a little, a little too far in. Usually if I got him early, I would use him. Because we're going to be selling him anyways around level 8 if we hit our Dragonite. I feel like this guy's kind of go Dragon Mages too. That's a little worrying. will be above 30 for sure. Nice. Now we're into loose streaks. So we got some gold. Our comp really, really goes off hard once it's DK2. So I'm not too worried. Let's just check if he has DKs on his bench. He does not. Should be alright. Anyone else have DKs? Just to check. Not look like it. That looks like we're okay in that department. Alright, so we're gonna level I rock. Let's roll. Shining Dragon 3 is not bad I mean I'm gonna grab it for now I don't think I'm going for it long term hopefully we get some nice 
Maybe we got maybe we got a refresher here, Frank Lives. <laughs> be nice. Don't really need it, need it, but it'd be cool. Right, we did get one ring of life though. We're actually almost there. Challenge me. I don't mind making that. Let's just... Sometimes I'll save it for Paul Staff, but we have another one worst case. Alright, so now we're gonna start rolling a little hard. Get it? Just in case we don't find it. Just... I'll take you under my wing. Well, it's not bad. Okay. I'm a light mage, not a lighthouse. Alright, that's good for us. That's good for us. I'll wait till next round to roll some more. Fuck's no captain, but werewolf could do just fine until then. Oh, Shiny kind of screwed over my uh, flaming salt. Okay. Keep rolling. Hopefully, we find this Dragonite soon. If not, we're in a very bad spot. Make this. We are wolves. Not too worried about that. Get Let's grab this just in case we can get interest. Doom's not bad, but I'm not looking for frontline right now. I'm just looking for Dragonite. There he is. There we go. We got extra money from that. Uh, so usually when I have my dragons in now, what I will do is is I'm gonna drop Tusk here. Venom in. And I put my dragons kinda in the back. They ult right away anyways. And I put Dragonite midway so that he can hit like without having to move we do kind of need tortola in so we might drop stone spirit here very soon we do need a four human bonus knights are usually hard until we get dragon knight too so we didn't do too bad versus them we still have to kind of roll down looking for dragon knight too i'm gonna sell that for interest i don't know if i'm using this yet like i don't know i would rather use pirate captain and have a front line Mm. Venom's good. My poison. Guess not. You're still alive. Nice. Exactly what we needed. Open your third Take one or two more rolls for a Venom. Not a Venom. We did find this. Okay, so we do need the human bonus. So I guess I, if I get to Tola 2, we can sell Stone Spirit. And possibly Wind Ranger. No, but then Wind Ranger I don't think is a good sell because he does pretty decent damage right now. And we do have magic items. So I'm just gonna hold the source just in case we end up going for six mage if we find a random god of thunder. You gotta beat my piggy before you Our biggest real upgrade is just these two. I guess okay, I'll keep Stone Spirit. I'll probably sell Wind Ranger. Take the mana item, put it on Tertola too. In the wind range doing great damage, we're told it would do about the same. At the end of the day. Because we really need this human bonus. Unless we find Pirate Captain, then we could play Stone Spirit and we'd be good both ways. You can fly. I don't really have anyone put this on. Actually we do. I just said Stone Spirit a while ago. I'm dumb. Sorry about that. I can stop his ultimate. Down on werewolf. If that's Dragonite. Your damage items. Usually at this point we go to Dragonite. So like attack speed items, stuff like that, just go to Dragonite. And watch Venom, he's just gonna one shot one of them. Bam Venom hit the Berserker and he's So that's a carry instantly gone that you don't have to worry about. Not worry about flaming three. Um, you don't really have to three star anything in a mage comp generally. It's nice, but it's better only if you hit, like if I hit the DK too early and I didn't have to roll down so hard for it. 
then I could think about three stars. Usually you want to just level and try to get like legendaries in or you know like think again like try to get a dark spirit helicopter a god of thunder stuff like that. The like, only thing that really would help us would be a pirate captain right now. A huge help for us. Then I don't have to get rid of wind ranger. Okay. Wanna see how you lose? Dog Curious is very strong. My only Oh we hit it. There can be only one true master of thunder. Okay, this is actually interesting. Uh let's see. Dog Curious is just so strong. I'm gonna give it to him. Let's see what it says here. Okay, so we kinda need to level to nine to do this. How we do this at nine. We would have one. So we take out these and add these three. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna save up for a little bit for like two rounds. Try to hit nine and then get our nine mage in. I mean our nine mage, six mage. And as you see we're doing pretty good against feathered. Especially since we got a feathered hitting item. As soon as we sell Wind Ranger and put it on Dragonite, it's gonna hurt them. Um, he sells for four gold or five gold? Five gold. So if we sell him, we actually have enough to level now. So I don't mind doing that right now. Let's sell him. Level up. Put in God of Thunder. Take out Thunder Spirit. Level that up. See my new trick? That. Um, usually I'll frontline Venom at this point if I'm going a bunch of mages. Uh, this can go on Dragonite. This should go on Tortola. This goes on Source. So now we're very strong. I think we might be the strongest in the lobby by far. I don't know about by far, but we're very strong. We just beat Z Tiger, we beat Degon. Beric, I know we beat earlier, so we should be doing better versus him now. Our biggest priority right now would be getting Tortola 2, uh, Captain 2 to replace our Werewolf. And now we're about 3 stars. Dead. Like, it's not a huge deal. I kind of want to put. Dragonite behind Werewolf because of the Curious. Gets the benefit when he's behind him. If we get another mana item, I would put it on God of Thunder to help him ulti faster. He is pretty slow at getting mana, even with a source. Yeah, so you see how by putting Thunder Spirit in the front line, we hit the whole back line with his ult? That's huge for us. That, that really adds a lot of damage to your comp if you're using a Thunder Spirit in the comp. On, try to hit me. Okay, so we technically have a Refresher. I'm gonna grab a Flaming. I know it's gonna hurt the interest of it, but she has the other mana item. So I'm- oh. We could put this on her pen now? I'll just shield on on the spirit since he's frontline. Venom gets his ult off right away. We don't really have to put tank items on him. We're good in that aspect. Okay, I got pretty strong actually. Happens. Should be good. Might need a Tortola too for this. Hmm. Still pretty close. Tortola ult. Okay, so Tortola 2, I think we beat this guy anyways. So we're not too bad. He has no more gold. Like, we're totally fine. Creep around now. Grab that. The fire of the Phoenix. If we make another one of her, I'm going to sell her. Grab the refresher. Put that on Tartola. He'll get two ults off right away in a fight. Really strong. Especially against, I said, like, if you saw that a comp, like, a feather comp was putting a razor claw to the side, then I might rethink that choice of putting it on Tartola. And then I would take it out and maybe put it on Flaming or God of Thunder or something like that. A Captain usually 
if we had a captain there instead of a werewolf, we 100% would have won that. Because captain's ult would have done a lot of extra damage and CC them for a little while. Hmm, do we make that? Not that much magic damage going out right now. I mean, Phantom Queen, sure. That's about it, really. I'm gonna roll a bit. I want to find Tertola too, and Flaming too, obviously. Feel the fire of the oh. Phoenix. Find Tertola too. Oh, helicopter's not bad either. Tanks full, ready oh, that's good. Okay, so let's do this. I'm a light Level that. Tell her. Magic put this one in. That's me. And then take the refresher onto Tertola. That's huge for us. Give the Mysterial Staff to God of Thunder. Attack items against Dragonite. And I guess let's take like the Jade Pipe, whatever. It's not a huge deal. We already have a refresher, so we don't really need the Ring of Lifes. Boom, we'll add one Tertola. And now the second one. Big damage. And let's see how we're doing versus the guy that we lost earlier. Beat him. There we go. So that's that's the change we needed. We needed that Tartola too, especially with pressure. As for a helicopter, there's nothing I can replace right now. I mean, a werewolf, but <laughs> we need a, some kind of front line. We can't have no front line with this comp. So we're going to wait and try to save to 10. I really, really wish we had a pirate captain. He's trying to get in front of us to CC us. Let's actually move to the other side. Quick. Mm, this is not terrible because Venom still gets his alt off. I was a little slow on that, but it, it's not going to work. It'd be too bad. The reason I switched sides is so because he was trying to get in front of us with Siren to CC us. I wanted to just get to the other side. There was not a chance. The other thing I could have done was well, actually, I don't think I could have done it because his Siren was in the back line. So we couldn't really human silence it if we wanted to. Now it's just me and him. But yeah, see, Siren was kind of in the back line, so we wouldn't have really stopped anything. Told us that's. Uh, did, 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 grab that. Do this to Told us as he's. Magic damage with his bolts. Give this to. Let's see what he's doing. Varric is still on his side. His strongest, highest cost unit right now is Thistle, and it's still with the team. So our Tartola should aim properly. Oh, I didn't even see that other magic staff. Look at me. I'm bad. That could have been way more damage on Tartola. We got Tartola damage. Boom. Won that pretty easily. Even with his marine buff, six mages rips to marine buff. Doesn't even phase them. Um, round 41, 41. What I'm talking about? Sorry, round 36. Usually you want to wait till 37 because that would be your on curve. But since this game's pretty much very close to ending, all right. So he switched sides. So let's switch sides again. Sides on him. Yeah, um, rounds 37 would be on curve, meaning multiples of four. But this game's near ending, near near the end, and I want to just have, be as strong as possible right off the bat and try to kill him on rounds 36. So I'm gonna just forego the one extra gold, level right away in 36, roll down for any. Legendaries or Pirate Captain 2 potentially and go from there. Uh, it is Dragon. So with Dragons, with the Black Dragon, you have to really be careful of mages because we're very squishy. So what you want to do is put your tank in front of the Dragon and then put your mages on the sides so that they don't take all the splash damage that's coming out. Usually with Captain, also Venom actually slows him, which is awesome. Like Venom's ult actually slows his attack, giving your tank a little more time to survive. God of Thunder is also very nice towards creeps. He does so much damage to them. Because he's percent. Heaven's Gift is huge. Get that 100% in. I guess might as well use these. Last fight. Alright, so we're again, see how it's off curve? Because I'm going to be off Y1 EXP. So I'm spending 5 gold for 1 last EXP. It's a little bad. 
but with the condition we're in in this game, we should be fine. We should look where this guy is. He's kind of in the middle. With prior okay, so captain's on the left side, so I'm actually going to go left side. I want to try to human silence it. Hopefully human silence the captain. We did. Beautiful. And Tertola should carry us through this fight. God of Thunder actually did a lot of damage there too. And I didn't even put helicopter in. Look at me. Queen player here. Jesus Christ. I didn't even put captain in. I mean helicopter in. But that shows how strong we are. That we didn't even need our helicopter. And we still won the fight. Looks like he's trying to get in front of us. He's frontlining her. She's in the third spot. So all we have to do there is just put captain like that. We have a human there. Let's do it like that. Because I don't want too much non-human damage hitting the siren. Nice, she got human silence. This should be game over right here. Helicopter is just overkill. Good game. And that to you guys is Dragon Mages. Super strong comp. Very fun to play. Sometimes you get crushed, but we pulled through this one. We hit everything we needed. And we hit our 6 mage pretty early. Usually you usually don't need 6 mage, but if you hit it, it's nice. It hits nice. But yeah, that's that's how you play Dragon Mages. And we saw like we transitioned into it a little bit. We used Wind Ranger for keeping us alive. And even though we took so much damage throughout most of the game, as soon as we hit our power spike, are dominating and that, that's the nice thing about this comp um hope you guys enjoyed the video hope it guys helps you guys and see you guys next time